YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Morgan Tracy J coming today with another Fearless Friday video today guys and today I'm talking to you all about staying motivated, being fearless, and just getting things done, okay? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and if you're old here, girl, welcome back. I love you and so happy you're back here with me. All right guys, in today's particular video, I'm talking to you all about just being fearless and doing the things you have to do even though it scares you, okay boo? I get scared also, but today was supposed to be just a creating content in the house type of day but I realized that instead of just taking my blog photos in the house like I normally do because it's my safe place nobody's looking at me I don't have to worry about other people staring I'm deciding to go out and do it elsewhere this is something I always wanted to do but truly I'm just too scared I'm just being a scaredy cat and too because I didn't have a photographer I felt like I couldn't do this and so I do it every so often but now that I live in a city it's kind of been very nerve-wracking because there's always people everywhere so if I go to this one area, I might be like in this secluded spot for a second, but then there's somebody, you know? And so that's sometimes a big issue for me. So what I decided to do is pack a few different outfits and I'm going to take it, load it up with my camera in my car and go and take some photos, all right? So I'm just bringing you along with me. Some of you have been asking me questions about it because you've seen it on my Instagram. So I'm going to let you know, I have partnered with Whitewood Style to, for teeth whitening. This is what I have been using. I honestly started out at a number seven on their little teeth whitening chart and I am now at a number four or three. I'm like in between three and four. And yeah, so that's about it. I'm going to whiten my teeth. I'm going to pack my bags, pack my camera, all that, and then I'm going to go. so gung-ho about being fearless and truly it's because many seasons before you guys knew me I was very fearful and I still am many days I'm very I don't like people looking at me I don't really like sometimes even being on camera and so there are a lot of things that God has made me step out on and trust him and so even right now me walking over here going to the pool to take photos of my blog for my blog is still very nerve-wracking <sighs> It's really scary, honestly. And as I was walking, I thought, oh my gosh, what if people were working? What if people were there? Duh, Morgan. Like, don't let fear get in the way of greatness. guys I just got in here this is kind of the background so my goal is to do different outfits at different spots and I wore things that I could just throw clothes over and um, you know pull my hair up in different ways and things like that so I'm about to try my best to start going through my bag setting up my camera all that and we'll see how it goes Okay guys, I just finished this look. Big tip, never do your favorite outfit first because you're kind of figuring things out and you're kind of like understanding your lighting, your angles and all that. So never do your favorite outfit first. Always do that one towards the end because you're getting more warmed up. Okay, let's go. All right guys, I'm actually now by the pool. I'm gonna try to pull off a photo really quick with this product that I've got and everything. And I've got this dress on, let's use the bra straps. I've just got this dress on, you've already seen it in the lookbook. And I wanna to try to pull off a really last of the summer photo for my blog. 
thought that would be a great idea. So maybe we should try to pull off that angle. Damn. All right, guys, I just finished taking those photos that I was talking about. I'm actually by the pool and there are some people out here and I feel so fearless because I did this. I do never, I never do this with people around. I'm so self-conscious and I don't want people staring at me and stuff, but I think I'm gonna jump in the pool because guess what, it is so hot. So I think I'm gonna run and jump in the pool and swim in my dress for a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna go inside and go home because it's really hot and I have never, I've only swam in this pool like one time. So we should go swim in the pool. Hope you like those photos this i'm not gonna lie though this green dress i had to like rewrap the straps a whole lot just to keep it from falling down and some of the pictures it was cutting too low so i had to do it even more so yeah let's go jump in this pool All right, guys, this is the aftermath of jumping in the pool with my dress on. Yeah, I really did that for my aunt, man. She just passed away and she still had some dreams and some goals that she was still striving for. And um, it just inspired me to live fearlessly, to create this video. So you will live fearlessly and you will get to a place in your life where you'll jump in and you'll, you'll live out loud and, and you'll do it all in grace and God's mercy and and not hold yourself back. Before I even did it, people started showing up and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't do it now. But like fear of man can get in the way. And so you don't wanna fear man, you wanna always fear what God has for it. Like if God says to do it, we wanna fear not doing what God said. And I just wanted to just encourage you guys to jump in fearlessly. Jump in, take the photos, forget about what people think, forget about it, like forget about all your fears and just jump right in to the places that God has for you, the things he keeps showing you. Don't be afraid and just jump in. I don't know if you've ever watched the Selena movie, but you know when she jumps off that thing and it's like, that was the moment she realized like she just had to live. And I feel like that's for me, like with my aunt's passing, it's just like, you have to live. There's gonna come a day where you need to, you're gonna have to go home. You're gonna have to go to heaven. And the gifts and the ideas that God put in you, you can no longer go back and try to redo those. They're gone. So if you keep saying, oh, one day I'm gonna get healthy, one day I'm gonna do this, one day I'm gonna build that business, one day I'm gonna start helping youth girls with the mentor program, whatever you've been telling yourself, that's what you need to be doing because you don't wanna be at the end of your life saying, I wish I did it. And so uh, my aunt always had a dream of creating a boutique and all that, and she never got to do that. However, that's been one of my dreams for years um, with his daughter's closet. And we're slowly getting closer to that. And so um, it just gives me a lot of hope and it's just, an encouragement to just jump in jump into those places you're afraid of don't forget about your clothes and forget about looking prim and proper and all that other crap man 
It doesn't matter. If you are called to jump into something and called to do something and you know what that call is, do it fearlessly. Forget about man. Forget about the people watching on standby. Forget about the naysayers and the haters and drench yourself in whatever it is God is calling you to do. Make up your mind and don't look back and decide to never give up on it. And just say, this is what I'm doing and that's that. Now these other things may come along the journey, but I know where my vision is, I know my focus. And so that's my encouragement to you guys. And that's what I guess you can say all this was about, is live fearlessly. Just jump in. Love you guys. Bye.